Well, good afternoon. It's good to see everybody. My name is Victoria Hu, and as somebody who is Chinese-Russian and who is deeply involved in the entire SEO region in my daily job, I'd like to share today with you what are the youth actions that young people from the SEO region can take to improve the life of each other and ourselves and our region in general. And I'd like to start with the current problems and challenges that we're facing as young people in the region. But why do we even pay attention to this region? Why do we even pay attention to the young people? And to draw your attention to a pretty impressive number, I'd like to share that in the 18 and soon to become 21 SEO family countries, there are more than 1 billion youth, 1 billion, that live in our space between the age of 18 to 35. And what does that mean? That means that youth are not the future, youth are the present. So what are the current challenges that young people are facing? Number one, unemployment or employment challenges. And I'd like to draw your attention to two numbers. For example, we all know that COVID has impacted the employment rate, surprisingly. In Russia, between the youth unemployment rate in 2019, it was 15%, and in 2022, almost 17%. And same in Uzbekistan, from 13% to 15%. And the second issue that young people are facing is education. And if we look at the education, the higher education ratio in the SEO region, we'll see that, for example, in our member state countries like Pakistan or India, the higher education rate is around 20%. But speaking of the youth actions, as this is our topic today, what can we as young people today, what can I do, what can you do to help each other grow and become better? And I've put together four points that I'd like to share with you. The first one is in establishing more cross-cultural platforms. And today we see that, for example, in July, we had China World Youth Development Forum, which was the first forum of its kind with the support of United Nations and lots of United Nations uh, entities. And that event brought together a few hundred people from all the countries in the world. So this is a platform for youth to connect. And for example, uh, All China Youth Federation is organizing SEO summer camp every year where young people can come together and exchange their ideas. Of course, building trust on a personal level is extremely important. And this is what we at Scholar Network, the youth community for young leaders from the SEO region, pay attention to. Because trust is the first stage and the first step to take. It's the foundation of every single relationship, no matter where we come from. And at Scholar, we organize cross-cultural monthly events, webinars, everybody's welcome to join. We organize model SEO events where we train and we teach and we learn from each other about SEO, about negotiations, public speaking, and we challenge ourselves to find consensus when everybody's having their own agenda and their own perspective. The second point is speaking the language that youth understand. What is the language, what is the main information source for young people? Social media. And if we look at the social media, and especially short videos, live streams, vlogs, and podcasts, we'll see that the digital econo economic development right now is growing super fast. And I'd like to share with you the, a few numbers as well. So right now, there's a new job which is called online marketing professionals, um, stated by the Chinese government. And Douyin says that only in last year, in a year, they created 36 million jobs. So when we're speaking about unemployment, young people can actually help each other and help ourselves to have other employment opportunities. And of course, we have many content creators and team members that are behind all the Wang Hongs, all the influencers. So that's another uh, action that we can take. The third one is educate yourself and each other. And with education, yes, there is a, pr a relatively low uh, education, higher education ratio in our region. And yes, there are not many opportunities for everybody. But again, with internet, there are so many online opportunities. For us to get education for free, we have the opportunity to learn the soft skills, the hard skills. Uh, there are so many events, educational type of events that are happening. And it's really up to us to go and take that action. 
and uh, for example, LinkedIn China has a program called Donate Your Time, where you can find somebody who is at a very senior level in the company and book the time with that person, and that is entirely free. So that will also help you in a certain way to find a possible job. And the fourth, the last point, which is think globally and act locally. And I'd like to put your attention to so many volunteering, nonprofit, or other initiatives that are happening right now in the world, and including Beijing, of course. For example, the World Economic Forum uh, initiative called Global Shapers Community connects young people from more than around 500 cities around the world, and Beijing has a beautiful hub too, where young people take actions on building social impact locally. And this is how you can act today. And last but not least, uh, we talked today, and we are going to talk today a lot about Shanghai Spirit. And I think the founding principles of Shanghai Spirit, which include mutual understanding, diversity, trust, and respect for each other and one another are really the core of not only the Shanghai Cooperation Organization member states, observer states, partners of dialogue of this big family, but also of youth, of each and every one of us. And I, again, urge everybody to be more initiative, to put your thoughts and ideas into action, and to move and build Shanghai spirit even further, because youth are not the future, youth are the present. We are the present. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria.